Tomorrow's a big day. Thousands of kids are going to join us for our fantastic Girls in Science Day at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. A lot of people look forward to this every year. CBS4 is proud to come together with the museum to encourage girls to explore careers in STEAM. Lauren Whitney live there this morning is with one of the clubhouses that is sure to be a hit. Lauren, good morning. Well, good morning. I am out here in the fossil preparation lab here at the Museum of Nature and Science, and I am by Tiny and joined by Natalie Toth, who's a fossil preparer here at the museum. And Natalie, what are we looking at here? Because I am very confused <laughs> by what's plaster, what's bone, what's going on here? Sure. So left in this jacket is one of the big brow horns from this dinosaur, Taurosaurus. So one of these ones that sit just right above the eyeball of the dinosaur here. And this is one of the field jackets, or one of the ways that we bring fossils back from the city of Thornton and into our lab. So this big casing on the outside is how we do that. And you were out at the dig in Thornton when they found Tiny. What is that like to see this big dinosaur <laughs> when you're out there? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. You don't expect to find a dinosaur literally in your backyard, especially in metropolitan Denver. So I think um, you know all of us at the museum have been thrilled, and the city of Thornton's been really excited. Now, Tiny is a, sort of the focus of your girls in science booth, and it's our clubhouse. It's called Can You Dig It? I love <laughs> that name. What are the girls going to be doing out there? So yeah, I, I think that Tiny is such an important fossil to feature for the girls. So um, there'll be some fossils from this dinosaur. The real fossils, real things will be out on the table for them to look at and explore and touch. So I'm excited to share it with them. That is awesome. And obviously you are a girl in science. <laughs> Why do you think this event is so important? Oh my goodness. I think it's so important that girls feel empowered to be part of the scientific process. They've been left out of it for so many years. So I'm really excited to um, inspire the future, the next generation of paleontologists. And I think a lot of people might be surprised that such a, a, a young woman is so involved in paleontology, but it's not, you know, an old person's game or anything like that. You can be young and fun and work in dinosaurs. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. Awesome. Well, she's the face of the dinosaur dig here uh, at the Museum of Nature and Science, and she will be out here this weekend. So will I. We'll be here tomorrow starting at 9 a.m., so make sure you come out to the Museum of Nature and Science. It's going to be a blast. We'll have more on dinosaurs coming up in just a few moments, but right now we'll send it back to the studio. If you need something fun and cool to do this weekend. CBS4 is coming together with the Denver Museum of Nature and Science for the fourth annual Girls in Science event. Our Lauren Whitney is there live this morning with a sneak peek. Lauren, lots of girls look forward to this event every year. What can they expect to see? You know, this year has uh, gotten bigger and better, and I'm actually here with Natalie Toth. She's a paleontologist and a fossil prepper here at the Museum of Nature and Science. So she's here to talk about your Can You Dig It clubhouse. And one of the cool things that girls are going to get to do is look at fossils. That's right. So one of the activities we'll have at my clubhouse is called um, Fossil or Not a Fossil. And how do we know if it's not a fossil <laughs> or a fossil? So we're going to be looking, for example, here we have um, two jaws or the lower part of the mouth from two different animals. So this is from a modern creature, from a deer. And then I have the lower jaw from the Taurosaurus that we found in Thornton. And so one of the first things that I notice looking at these is that one is white and one has kind of this dusty brown, earthy looking color. Um, and the reason for that is this used to be bone, but it's undergone the fossilization process. So over time, you know, millions of years, minerals and rock and sediment have started to replace the um, what was once bone has now turned into a fossil. It's so fascinating that it takes millions of years for that to happen and, and all this cool and remembering all of my you know middle school, high school, uh, all of those <laughs> different classes I took back then. So cool to see this. So the girls get to compare and go through things and, and actually see a lot of these really great fossils from Tiny. That's the most amazing part. Yeah, so we'll have a bunch of examples on the table. Um, this is just one of them. We'll also have you know turtles, different types of plant fossils, um, lots of Tiny will be out there. So uh, I can't believe that we actually get to see so many parts of Tiny since you're working on him so much right now. Or her. Is it him or her? Yeah, I, I we don't know. Up to the up to the viewer. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, we've had a huge push in our lab to really try and get this dinosaur done because it is such an exciting find. We want to have as much time to study it and look at it as we can. Awesome. So Natalie will be out here this weekend at the Museum of Nature and Science. She's a paleontologist, so your daughters or your any girl in your life can ask her lots of questions and have lots of fun at the museum. We'll have our Lauren Whitney's electric lightning show this weekend, so our meteorology booth this year is all about lightning, so it should be super fun. And it starts at 9 a.m.
a.m. tomorrow. Are you ready? Super ready. Really excited. It should be a really great time. So we'll have more coming up in just a moment about this great event this weekend. 22 clubhouses here at the Museum of Nature and Science starting at 9 a.m. tomorrow. You guys, it's such a fun event. We cannot wait. Well, it's going to be a busy weekend at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science as they get ready to host thousands for the fourth annual Girls in Science. Oh boy, we're pretty excited about this. CBS 4 proud to come together with the museum to help girls explore careers in science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Lauren Whitney live there this morning as we talk about what's happening. You know, we got these lightning cards that I that I love, Lauren, and this is really cool stuff, and Andrea's already got some jewels on hers. That's right. I got the, the bling. I got the bedazzled one. She Lauren. blinged up. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to be blinging up here at the Museum of Nature and Science. That's our uh, electric lightning show comic book. So you'll come on down. We'll teach you all about lightning this weekend. Lots of great activities for the girls. And one of the other great activities, we are still in the fossil prep area with Natalie Toth, who's a paleontologist here. We're at a sandbox. And uh, this is used for not just playing, but some really <laughs> cool scientific stuff. What happens here? That's right. So we use the sandbox. Um, we glue a lot of our fossils together in here. So one of the things that we can do is apply glue to both sides of the fossil and then get the fossil balanced and then let gravity do its work so I don't have to stand there and hold it and wait for glue to dry. That's so awesome. And you also uh, make, use some of these tools out mm -hmm. in the field. What kind of tools do we have here? Yeah, so these are some examples of some of the tools that the girls will see this weekend. So we use really simple things. Like I'm sure most of the girls have one of these at home. Um, <laughs> and lots of different, so. yeah, exactly, <laughs> lots of different brushes, tweezers, dental picks, um, all things that should be pretty familiar. So they'll have a chance to work with those this weekend. And they're going to get to dig into a sandbox. Not quite this big, but they'll That's get right. to be digging for some fossils as well? Yeah, so we'll have a dig table set up with some of the fossils that have been found in Colorado, actually. Um, they'll be cast of the fossils from our state, and they can dig and play in the sand and have a good time. It's going to be an awesome at your Can You Dig It uh, clubhouse. You are a girl in science. This event is so awesome. Tell us why you think this is just the best for girls. I think it's so important for girls to feel like that they can contribute to the scientific process, um, and we just need more women in science. So um, I hope that they feel inspired after visiting you know, my clubhouse, your clubhouse, and that they continue to pursue science even later in life. Well, Natalie, thank you for waking up so early with us <laughs> this morning. 22 clubhouses out here this weekend, guys. It is going to be an absolute blast. Starts at 9 a.m. tomorrow.